everyone. Uh, today I'm gonna tear down really interesting machine. It's 11.2 channel, 4K Ultra HD, AV surround preamplifier, Moran's AV7705. You can read about all the key features of this machine in video description. Without any further ado, I will proceed with the main purpose of this video, which is take a close look what's inside the Moran's AV7705. First task is to remove the top cover, which is fixed with three screws on the left side, three screws on the right, and two more at the rear panel. After all the screws are removed, a gentle slide back and top cover can be lifted. Next in line is the front SE. I will start with disconnecting all the inner cables. First, HDMI, which links digital PCB with front SE. Next goes power supply cable and USB extension. After disconnecting ribbon data cable, I can start undoing the screws securing the front SE. Eight of them are at the bottom, two more on the left hand side and two more on the right hand side. After all the screws are out, front assay can be easily removed. There are not many interesting parts here, uh, but I will take it apart anyway. First, I have to remove the inner HDMI extension cable and then undo around 40 screws. After I'm done with the screws, I will remove this metal bracket. Then I'm taking input selector and volume knobs off. What I'm left with are two knob nuts the last thing which is holding PCB in place. Now front printed circuit board can be extracted. Almost forgot to remove door switch PCB. So that's the front PCB. Here you can see four LEDs which backlight the ring around the small screen. If you like me who doesn't like blue lights in your equipment, you can quite easily resolder and replace them with different color LEDs. Here you can see the remaining parts from the front assay. It's a bit disappointing that only the middle part is made of brushed aluminium and the rest is plastic. Okay, I'm gonna carry on and now it's radiator assembly's turn. First of all, I'm going to cut all the cable ties uh, so that I could disconnect the cables. Alright, that's done. And now I will undo three screws which are holding radiator assay at the bottom, one at the right hand side and one more at the left hand side. Then I need to unplug power supply cable so that radiator assay can be extracted. So here we go. That's the preamp section sitting on a huge aluminium radiator. Marans calls it a hyperdynamic amplifier module or just HDAM. 
Also, Maran states uh, that this preamp section provides optimal channel separation, minimum crosstalk and enhanced signal-to-noise ratio. Okay, uh, let's see what else is hidden inside of Maran's AV7705. In order to remove the rear panel, I need to disconnect these two Bluetooth Wi-Fi antenna cables and unscrew a lot of screws, 68 to be more exact. It took me a while, but finally it was done and the rear panel was successfully removed. Metal work quality was not perfect, uh, edges were quite sharp, I even managed to cut myself. But I believe that quality of the metal work will not affect the sound. Right, digital PCB. First, I will unplug the power supply cable. Then I will remove the plastic rivet. And undo last screw. Now it's only held by six uh, board to board uh, connectors. I will use this handy plastic prying tool from my iFixit Protect toolkit. These connectors were quite stiff and didn't want to give up. However, in the end I gradually managed to disconnect them and extract the digital PCB. So, what's interesting about digital PCB? Here you can see main CPU. That's three HDMI switches made by Panasonic. And these four are digital sound processors. This is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. A bit closer look at Panasonic HDMI switch. Closer look at high performance uh, fourth generation DSP made by analog devices. As you probably know, uh, this uh, surround preamplifier supports up to three separate zones. And here you can see digital to analog converters dedicated to zone 2 and zone 3. Okay, let's carry on. Next is analog video PCB. Again, I'm gonna use my handy prying tool to disconnect these three board to board connectors. This time it was a bit easier as there were only three connectors. There is not much to see on this PCB. Most important part on this PCB is AVDM 2000. Uh, which is located on the flip side of the board. This chip does all the switching of analog sources. Now, uh, before extracting input PCB, I need to relocate these cables uh, so they are not creating an unnecessary obstruction. When the cables are out of the way, I can disconnect these four board to board connectors and extract the PCB. RCA connectors uh, with extra shield is a phono input. 
Moran states uh, that Fauna stage is also equipped with a hyperdynamic amplifier module. Also, Moran says that HDAM, a component of AV7705, outperforms operational amplifier solutions uh, due to its high speed and maintains a clean audio signal for exceptional sound performance. You're not gonna find main digital to analog converters on this board because they are located in a different, rather unexpected place. Next, I will remove the side CNT board. There is no electronic components on it. Uh, it serves as a connecting bridge between other PCBs. I found this solution very elegant as opposed to having a huge amount of wires instead. Now I'm going to unplug power supply cables from the fuse board and move them aside so they are not in the way. Next goes a switched mode power supply. I'm gonna do one screw and power supply can be extracted. Here you can see main DC output which is connected to digital PCB and here the direct AC output which is linked with a toroidal transformer and is controlled by this relay. Now I will undo one screw in order to remove the front CNT and uh, fuse board which are stitched together with uh, plastic rivets. Nothing too much exciting about this fuse board, but here we have front CNT and these two are AK4458, a 32-bit 8-channel premium digital to analog converters. I was looking for them everywhere but did not expect it to find them here. As you can see there is only few parts left attached to the chassis. Time to extract the XLR PCB. I will start removing three screws that are securing this board at the bottom. I'll continue with six uh, transistors that are screwed down directly to the bottom of the chassis and use it as a heatsink. Another three screws uh, from the top of the board and the board can be extracted. So that's the XLR PCB. Here you can see a bunch of cables uh, through which analog audio signal comes from uh, HDAM preamplifier section. Also there is a whole row of relays. This part of XLR PCB is used for power distribution purposes. Current from toroidal transformer uh, flows here through fuse board and after uh, conversion from alternating current to direct current uh, and filtering, it is distributed through side CNT and front CNT to analog printed circuit boards. Here you can see AM-FM tuner pack. This toroidal transformer is the last component left. Uh, four screws securing it are removed and transformer can be extracted. Toroidal transformer uh, fits analog preamplifier, front PCB, analog video, analog input and XLR balanced output PCBs. Digital PCB is fed by switched mode power supply. 
So once again, here you can see all the electronic components of Marantz AV7705. And that's around 150 screws which I had to undo to film this video. I really hope that you enjoyed watching my video and you found it useful. Marantz AV7705 surround preamplifier is beautifully made machine with impressive sound and all you need functionality. Hopefully I'll be able to turn down something even more interesting soon. Likes and subscriptions are much appreciated. See you soon. Goodbye.